quick video going over the similarities and differences between the Shun Sora line and the Wushdorf Gourmet line. Both of these are entry-level knife sets by their respective companies, and both are actually in the same price point as well. So it's really a perfect uh, compare and contrast video. Off the bat, I just wanna make a note that these two knives are much, much, much more different than they are actually similar. So let's just jump right into this. First and foremost, they're constructed much differently. The Shun is a handmade forged knife from Japan, and the Wushdorf is a stamped machine-made knife from Germany. So off the bat, that is a more, I guess, cheaply made knife in terms of how they go about it. The metal is much different as well. As you all know, the Shun uses VG10 steel, which is considered the gold standard in the knife making world. It's very hard, it's very resilient, and it holds an edge very, very well. By contrast, the Wushdorf uses their own sort of proprietary blend of steel, and it's much, much softer. So while the Shun is a VG10, which is about 60 to 61 hardness, the Wushdorf is their own steel, and it's about a 58 hardness. So what that means is that's going to get dull much faster. It's going to need to be sharpened and honed much more often. And that's just a byproduct of it being a softer steel. As you use the knife, it gets compressed and it gets bent and warped out of shape. And that's essentially why you need to hone and sharpen to get a nice little edge back on it. The harder the steel, the more likely it is to not have that happen just because it is going to resist getting pushed down and sort of bent out of shape. On top of that, the Wushdorf is just a single piece of steel that's been stamped, as I said, while the Shun has a layer of stainless steel wrapped around either side. It does two things. Number one, you get this gorgeous wave design on the bottom that I'm very fond of. But number two, it makes it extremely resilient to pitting and to staining and to rust and things like that. The next major difference about the blade is the sharpness. The Shun is a very, very sharp 16 degrees, while the Wushdorf is a very, very not so sharp 18 and a half degrees. And it sounds like maybe those two and a half degrees on either side don't make a difference, but while this can just sort of shave all the hairs off my arm in one fell swoop, the Wushdorf will not cut a single hair on my arm. So that means you are gonna need to press harder, you are gonna need to do a little bit more work with the Wushdorf, and I don't really think that's, uh, that's an okay thing in my mind. In terms of the handles, both have plastic handles. The Shun has a much more sort of traditional Japanese style handle. It's actually very ergonomic. And it also being forged has these two nice little dimples. So when you're doing a pinch grip, it actually feels very, very nice in your hand. The Wushdorf has a plastic handle and it's also very ergonomic. And a pinch grip is nice, but it's not as nice because you do have this little step right here and this little swoop right there. So it doesn't feel as ergonomic when you're using it. Just a thing to consider. Both knives essentially have full tangs, and this is what I mean. The Wushdorf most definitely has a very nice full tang. The Shun has something called a rabbit tang, which means the tang actually ends right about here. Uh, it goes all the way in and it sort of gets wrapped around by the handle, like an old samurai sword or whatnot. In essence, this is going to act just like a full tang, and this is why. When you're holding the knife, the tang ends so far down in your hand that there's no actual pivot point as you use the knife. So there's nowhere for the knife to sort of push up and come out of the handle. You're essentially using the entire tang as a handle. So in that case, it does work exactly like a full tang for 99.99% .99 of purposes. And as long as you're using the knife properly, it's not gonna be a problem whatsoever. In terms of warranty, the Wushdorf does come with a lifetime warranty. The Shun only comes with a 10-year warranty, but those are, again, essentially the exact same warranty, and this is why. Any manufacturer defect is going to show up well before the 10-year mark, so anything after 10 years is just sort of them giving you lip service. Anything that happens after 10 years, they're probably not going to cover regardless. What's really nice about the Shun, and one of the reasons I consider it the best entry-level knife, is it also comes with free sharpening for life. So with any knife, if you take it to a reputable sharpener, it's going to cost you roughly $5 an inch just to sharpen it, which means both of these knives, being eight inch chef's knives, are going to cost you around $40. And even then, you don't know if you're going to get a good knife back or if you're going to be one of those horror stories that we always read about. With the Shun, you give it to them, they look at it. If they see any problems, they toss it and give you a new one. But otherwise, you can rest easy knowing they're going to give you the exact same edge on the knife that you first fell in love with. And especially with a, a softer metal like the uh, Gourmet has, 
you're going to need to sharpen it much more often. So that $40 adds up very, very, very quickly. Either way, like I said, I definitely consider the Shun the better choice out of these two. It has a much better blade. It has a much sharper blade. It has stainless steel wrapped and welded around it. It looks much nicer. Uh, it comes with free sharpening. I mean, and it's handmade and it's forged. So really, I think that especially these two being the same price point, it's sort of a no-brainer to get the Shun, unless you really, really like German-style knives. Either way, I'll put a link down to both below. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, as always, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you very soon.